two local women went out for a night on the town and they never came home. The women were allegedly drugged, then dumped at separate hospitals. Fox 11's Laura Diaz spoke to the husband of one of the victims. And I, I never felt love like I felt from her. This footage shows a beautiful, vibrant 24-year-old Christy Sillier dancing and performing for the camera. The camera loved the young model, as did many people in her life. According to her husband, Jan, his wife and her friend, Hilda, also known as Marcella Arzola, seen here, went out for a carefree night of partying Friday night, November 12th. But something went tragically wrong. They never came home. Christy texted Marcella and said, uh, let's get out of here, let's leave, with like the wide eye emoji. Uh, and the fact that they're texting each other when they're in the same house together, probably sitting very close to each other, or is, you know, concerning because, you know, why, like, she's obviously worried about these guys that they're with. Jan says the night started out at the Soho House in the Arts District of downtown Los Angeles. When the club closed, the party of now three women decided to continue and party at an after-hours club near East L.A. One woman opted out. That may have saved her life. Christy and Marcella continued on, possibly accompanied by a couple of men. Jan says his wife texted him a half dozen times. The last time was 1.30 in the morning, Saturday, November 13th. The GPS on her phone places her in areas from downtown to West Hollywood. The next thing the despondent husband heard was that Christy had been dumped, lifeless at a hospital by men wearing masks in a Prius with no plates. Marcella dumped at a separate hospital, showing signs of heroin in her system. Jan says it's a cautionary tale. Would you be surprised if you knew your wife was recreationally using cocaine? Uh, no. Okay, so that was something that was a part of her life. Exactly, and this is the, not, she, she did it very sparingly, um, but she would never in a million years touch heroin. This is not cast as just another unfortunate um, overdose, that this, we believe, and everything that we're learning, is that obviously some sort of criminal element was involved in it. A GoFundMe has been set up for Christie. It is captioned, Justice for Christie. In Los Angeles, Laura Diaz, Fox 11 News.